All righty, we got a we've got a new challenger. Spawning on the left side of the map in the blue color, playing as Loki. His name is Soup. Soup. Yeah, and we have Eric on the opposite side of the map playing against uh, Soup with his favorite uh, Zeus. Excuse me. Um, and yeah, let's see how he's gonna do this time. Yeah, we did see Eric going up against Matrius's Loki, and he went for a full wall strategy. Uh, which didn't end up working out for him too well. So we'll see how he's going to change things up in this game. He gets himself a really nice 900 food. Um, is that right? Yes. 900 food caribou spawn. But it looks like he's going for that stand, that well old build of five villages on food. So he's not going too aggressive here. Five villages on, on food means the fastest advantage you can get is going to be 430. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it's, that, that's going to end up working for why, uh, why isn't he listening to boyd uh, we need we need to see boyd build orders we need a four minute uh, Zeus mean, advance from it the thing is boyd always gets into a winning position and manages to throw it see that's the thing if you just put just just sub me in for like the first 10 minutes and then put someone else in the shoes and you'll win every single every single game it'll just be way too easy <laughs> <laughs> It, remi it reminds me something like uh, you said about Joe that if he had your build orders uh, oh, yeah. for the Egyptian, then he would have been the greatest Egyp Egyptian player. Like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah. Joe, Joe's Joe's insane. I don't understand how Joe gets wins. I, I don't. I don't understand. It, it just doesn't make sense to me. It's like if I try and play like Joe, uh, I lose. Hundred <laughs> percent. Okay, so we have Tundra, which is probably Loki's favorite uh, map. Uh, quite quite open map, I would say. And we can see that Eric is having exposed wood lines. Mm. Soup could abuse them with the Hall of Thanes Hershey's. And uh, anyway, we see already a spy on the Hunters. I don't know how he got there with the Ulf Shark. And the thing is that Soup is having his Ulf Shark forward. That means. Uh, if he's going for a defensive temple, he's going to be slow on returning back to his base and building it. So mm. we could even see a Heimdall rush at this point. Soup's, uh, Soup likes doing that against Zeus. Soup, li I haven't seen it yet. If Soup goes for a Heimdall rush against Zeus, you've got to bow down to the cojones on that man. Because <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever seen Heimdall rush work against Zeus. It never works actually, but Soup st is still doing that. Uh, oh yeah, here's the temple. Oh my God. What could go wrong? Uh, what? Does that give you any memories? The temple? Yeah, which what, what game are you talking about? <laughs> I've got lots of I, stupid I, temple placements I, in my life. I don't know. Once once you try to build a forward temple and you deleted your old shark. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like me. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember now the game? I, I, no, I, 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 I vaguely remember. I mean, I think I've got a lot of, lot of like, I think I've got a lot of two minute losses in my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, I'll have who, to link you the who, game. Who, who, I, who was I playing against? <laughs> uh, I think it was Grass and Groom, if I recall correctly. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I will link you the game. Don't worry. That's so funny. That's so funny. All right, we see Heimdall. Heimdall just an inch before Athena coming out. Eric is going to have to pull back into his base and play a little bit defensively here, but this is going to be a, a very, very interesting game to say the very least. I'm excited to see what Soup's going to come up yeah. with here. I'm excited as well. At least Eric is going to get pushed off the front hand. I think he has hunt in his base though. Does he? Some orcs. Hmm. No, no, nothing really. Oh, no, okay. Those are, oh, those are elks, caught. and they're kind of a bit meh. Yeah, they suck. Yeah. Now, Soup trying to cast Fimble Winter there. We can see the wolves attacking the hunter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Trying to take some favor by attacking the granary, but he needs the longhouse first. Um, probably the Ashen Yard is going to get bolted. Yeah, you know, there's actually some merit to this forward temple here against Zeus that I, I haven't really considered. But you can just go for Seti and then drop two longhouses in your base and kind of sack that temple in a way. Or, or even you don't even have to put the second one up and just sack the temple. As you oh, see no. that. Oh, oh, the oh, undermine no. gets oh, both no. the barracks. Oh, Eric is going to get so mad. 
Well, he doesn't. He hasn't. He hasn't seen this before. Obviously, you don't. When undermine, you, you put one on one side and one away. You, you can't put them together because undermine will kill them both. As if just get pushed yeah. off that food over there. This is uh, this is gonna be a little bit scary here for Eric. That's a disaster. If he doesn't get his hand, he's not gonna be able to produce the army he needs to defend against the Loki. I think. Wait, does he got husbandry? Yeah. So he's got husband. I think it's fine here. He just has to get an army out, and then he can move back out onto the um, onto the hunt a little bit later. So as, as long as he gets his army out, I think that that's the only thing that he needs to worry about at the moment. Get holding onto this gold mine. Odysseus does so yeah. much damage from behind. Yeah, he does, but now Soup is sitting on 50 population while uh, Eric is on 35. Yeah, it's yeah, a, it's a, a it's a matter of it's a matter of time though. These these hoplites they get scary. Minotaur gets scary. Units get sniped down. Eric's gonna if Eric can hold, I think he's actually completely fine. Yeah, as long as he can hold and then push out onto second hunt after the after the herdables are gone. Yeah, yeah, surely. But now the heroes are going to be a problem for at least the early game. Later on, once Sook has a bigger army, he's gonna be fine. Mm. Um, and now we see the Echenjar. Actually, Sook tried to hide the Echenjar. I don't know why. Maybe she wanted to get a sneaky raid to Eric's woodline, but probably not. Oh, I really, I really like this this uh, Odysseus shenanigans here from. Uh from Eric. The only thing I would like even more is if he could pair up the Toxodes with it. But he might be... I mean, he does have Restoration, so he can actually win this fight. Yeah, yeah. And Odysseus has already killed like two throwing Axemen, which is huge. But let's see now what kind of spawns yeah, Shoot is going to get to. from the Hersus. Oh, one Necro. That's huge. And he gets instantly bolted. Nice micro. I think, I think that, that Eric needed to micro that Minotaur a little bit better. Because Super's just so far in front. That restoration did nothing. How does Soup make this work? Uh, I already feel sorry for Eric. Like, we have never seen Soup winning Zeus with a Heimdall Rush. And for the first time, it's working. And it's against Eric. So, <laughs> Eric is going to be mad. <laughs> okay. I just feel sorry for him. I just feel sorry for him. Poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, it, it's funny. It's kind of funny. Uh, at the same time, Soup is doing some nice micro. You know, he's targeting the Toxodes with the uh, Raiden Cavalry. He's sniping villagers, two villagers down. And I, I would probably not uh, play this way if I was Eric. Uh, I know that I need Hunt. Even if you get Husbandry, you still only have a few goats in your base. Mm. And I think the Hunt gather rating is higher, right? Hunt is... Okay, I... There's a couple of things to think about in regards to hunt. So hunt is strictly faster if you're gathering it, but it is further away from your base. So you do. So the difference ends up being a little, just a little bit more. This is why I'm actually fine with with jumping onto onto herdables if I have husbandry uh, from villages popping out of my town center a lot of the time, rather than moving off onto secondary hunt. And this is also why I was saying, if Eric just eats all the herdables and gets a full population army and then moves out and uses the restoration to get himself on, he would have been in a fine position. But Eric moved out a bit early, I would say. Yeah, I mean, that would work as well, but probably the easiest way would be to do a decent build order, advance faster and destroy that forward base of soups. And then soup would be doomed. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah, there, there is, there is a, there has been a lot of build order efficiencies here for, uh, for Odin and for Norse in general, and also for Zeus. And if you're not playing to the build orders, you are, um, why did you delete that house? If you're not if you're not playing to the build orders, you're just gonna get build order lo losses, and that's you don't learn anything from that. You don't get better. You just no nobody nobody gets better, but you yeah just get you just lose losses. at this point. Yeah, and it's a disaster seeing Eric actually starting building farms on a super high hand map like uh, hmm. like Tundra. Oh, he's gonna sneak out. Way... Will he get out over here? Or oh, the off sucks even. Oh, so we see that and instantly send the Valkyrie and a few Redding Cavalry, in my opinion. Mm. And while at the same time, he will try to build that town center with the throwing Axemen and the Hersis. Uh, that's probably how Soup works, if he has the wood. 
which he hasn't. Yeah, don't you think that... I mean, he probably will go for the town center, but don't you think that just, like, a Mythic Age, like, rushing Mythic Age here is... There would be nothing that... No way for Eric to win. If Yeah, it, it would be fun, first of all, but uh, I don't think he needs that. And if he actually tries to go for the Mythic Age, Eric can can use that and destroy the forward base which it shouldn't happen if uh well, he could just actually Shook, go for uh, Njord and then and then walking woods and kill him as well like, i literally, yeah, literally anything eric uh, super so far in front right now he can do anything yeah exactly like uh, the flex uh, the flex uh god picks like uh Njord are always great when you're ahead oh also one thing i want to note here is look at where these houses are placed. It's just, thing, it's just a thing of beauty. Does this guy watch Boyd? I think he does. I think he's. I think not only does he watch Boyd, but he he he, oh. he listens to Boyd. It's crazy. And, <laughs> and he copies Boyd's uh, hairstyle. True. True. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is <laughs> okay. This is some nice micro. Uh, Eric will need maybe a choke point for those talk shots. To he should turn around and take this and... fight, right? Oh, you think so? Yeah, just wedge into uh, the forest and then uh, it's not a, it's yeah, not yeah, a, yeah. it's not a winning fight, but it's not a losing fight, and he needs to slow slow soup down. <laughs> I think losing I think but losing no. Toxodes for food units here is uh, is really oh, he's gonna lose all his units anyways. Oh, the path block, that's sick. AUM pathing. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> And now the Odysseus is gonna fall as well, and Eric will have no answer to the mid units. And he still has Jason. Jason will carry. Ooh, the Jason. Bit. And Bragi is yeah, coming. Yeah, Bragi is coming, and no Nord flakes. No. Very unfortunate to not see the Nord flakes. Um, it it just it, it like him so picking Bragi here just goes to show that the Heimdall pick here wasn't him flexing on Eric. I think he genuinely thought that Heimdall here was gonna be a good pick. Yeah, the, <laughs> I was pretty surprised to see Heimdall working actually, but yeah, probably Eric didn't expect that. Maybe he didn't scout the temple with his Katascopos and GG gets called. GG. It's a tough life. So lessons to learn here. Against Heimdall, if you put your two military buildings next to each other, you will lose both of them. That is a very, 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 very tough situation to be in. Lesson number two is, uh, against against a sixty population army, a forty five population army with restoration is not going to be enough to win that fight. So you need to get some more units out to take that one before you go for it. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, the thing is here. I think the big thing is here that again these hoplites. These hoplites now, they actually move as fast as the as the Hursa. And you can actually go for some raids with these. So instead of leaving them at home, you could have left the Toxodes back here, kind of trying to harass the Odysseus and then run those hoplites off around the map trying to find where your enemy resources are and actually get some raids on this one with the hoplites, which would have been a very, very uh, different uh, situation. But a, a well-played yeah, game by Soup nonetheless. Did it? Yeah.